you know that peanut butter glows in the dark? Peanuts contain fluorescent phenolic compounds. Say that five times fast. Fluorescent phenolic compounds, fluorescent phenolic compounds, fluorescent phenolic compounds. <laughs> Peanuts contain fluorescent phenolic compounds, which glow when exposed to violet UV light. I spread some peanut butter on this piece of bread, and I have this violet laser pointer, so let's make it really dark and check it out. Let's play What's Under My Microscope, Fruits and Veggies Edition. Round one. today. Smash up some strawberries, mix two teaspoons soap, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water. Add the solution to your strawberries and carefully mix. Strain through a coffee filter. Look at how much mixture you have and add an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. You'll start to see slimy snot-like stuff forming. That's the strawberry DNA. Use a popsicle stick to take it out and get a closer look. And that's how you extract strawberry DNA. Astronaut ice cream. My friend Emily, AKA the Space Gal, sent me this astronaut ice cream sandwich. And I'm on my lunch break right now, so let's eat it. Interesting. So this looks just like an ice cream sandwich. It's just kind of hard. Okay, let's try it. Mm. It's good. It's very sweet. It's very crunchy. It definitely melts in your mouth. It's not what I expected. Um, I'm definitely gonna finish the whole thing. The packaging says that this was invented for NASA's Mercury missions using a process called freeze drying, which means all the water has been removed. And now I can officially say I've tried astronaut ice cream. Marshmallow catapults. Connect the stack of five popsicle sticks, then wedge two more in between them like this. Secure a spoon to your catapult, then launch marshmallows into some hot chocolate. And that's how you make marshmallow catapults. Add rice to a bottle and push a skewer down until it touches the bottom. Give it a few pushes and pulls, then lift it up. Friction between the rice and skewer allows you to pick it up. Hey, Sess! These are my teacher friends, Miss Arias and Miss Goulin, and we're gonna try sour candies before and after chewing these wild berries. Chocolate tastes so good. Mm. I want to try yeah. They kind of taste like regular Skittles now. They do. Like yeah. sweeter Skittles? They're like sweet. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> I'm twisted. This has been my dream my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. It's time for another taste test. Plastic syringe, mini marshmallows. Check this out. Take apart the syringe and put a mini marshmallow inside. Push the air out, cover the hole with your finger, then pull back and the marshmallow expands. Release your finger and the marshmallow shrink. This is an example of Boyle's Law, which states pressure is inversely proportional to volume. In other words, when I pull back, pressure decreases and marshmallow volume increases, but when I let go, pressure increases and marshmallow volume decreases. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos.